All right. So first things first, we're clearing this room of all the Heartless. Be very careful not to fall. There's a little pit area to the side. Be very careful not to fall. Because you don't want to do that. It'll send you to another area that you're not ready to be in yet. And you don't want that to happen. White Trinity, by the way. Keep an eye out, or remember that. And it's hard sometimes to not fall. Um, because there's a lot of flying Heartless. And to hit Flying Heartless, you need to jump. And you might not want to jump, because it'll put you over the pit. So yeah, magic, magic is good on the Flying Heartless if you've got to hit the Flying Heartless with anything. Because just be careful. You don't want to fall in. We're not ready to move yet. You just want to kill the Heartless so you can open that chest that's right there. And potentially another chest, assuming you can make the jump. Which, uh... Ouch. I'm not entirely certain I can yet. Alright. So that's that. This chest is our first one. So there is... While we're here... Stand by. Oh, yeah, no. That was all we wanted here, actually, right now. We can't reach this other chest yet. So let's head into the hall. And in the hall, there's more Heartless to kill. With also, also being careful to not fall still. Um, so let's clear the hall real fast. No, 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 no! Oh, gosh, I got worried there. I thought I was, I thought I was falling off. Um, but I didn't. So that's a plus. There's definitely more heartless here, though. These guys are annoying because flying, and I can't hit the thunder, which is unusual. Sorry, my whole room just got dark for a second. Um, anyway, I was supposed to use that barrel as a platform. The one that was in that corner that I destroyed. Um, so I'm going to try to use these guys as one. Yeah, that worked. Cool. For this chest. And from here, I'm going to jump over here to be able to reach this platform with this chest. Which gives me a Mithril Shard. Uh, and then back over here. Hopefully avoiding these water spouts. Oh, first clearing these Heartless. and giving Goofy a max item up. Yeah, the water spouts will push you down below, and I don't want to do that. What I do want to do is use this water spout as a platform to get over to these stairs and head into the bottomless hall and open this chest. And while I'm here, push this rock down. And I think that's all I want to do in the bottomless hall. Yeah. Going back over here. Alright. Let's... go this way. No, no, I don't want to go down! Pretend you're not seeing this. I don't want to go down. Okay, cool. Heartless. Let's fight him. Oh, I'm 
Okay, he's gonna hurt me. I'm also not doing well. There we go. All right, let's figure out what we're trying to do. We actually wanted to be on that side. Because here's our exit. And this actually leads us back into the bottomless hall. Yeah. And we're going to clear these guys out as our usual, usual modus operandi is. Destroy all Heartless. And this barrel, too, while we're at it. Destroy all Heartless and one barrel. That's, uh... That's our motto. Get a cottage! Uh... And we want to potentially make this jump. Yeah! For a chest. Can we make the jump back, though? No. Stand by. Oh, no, we're good. We're supposed to drop down. Somewhere in here is a Trinity jump for us. Right here. For a nice chest that contains Thundara G. And I think we're going to just run back up to the bottomless hall. So yeah, back here in the bottomless hall, we're going to, like, go this way, through this exit, after we kill these Heartless. Just go into the treasure room. Just go into the treasure room. I can't go to the treasure room. To the treasure room. <laughs> All right. We're going to clear the treasure room real fast. All gone. Stay dead, please. Let's get some treasure. Let's get this bread, as some might say. Here's a chest for a defense up that's immediately going on to Sora. Then this one for a mithril shard. Then this one for Dalmatians. And then I think I have to leave that one for a moment. Oh, but first, there's a Trinity. Um, let me just double check my notes after I pick up all this money. Yeah, so we'll get that other chest later. For now, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the restroom. Also, isn't there a save point in here? Yeah, for now I'm gonna use the restroom, but I'll meet you back in the hall. All right, we're back in the hall. We want to go down these steps into the silent chamber. And then we want to go to the dark chamber. This way? That's a hidden room. So this must be the way to the dark chamber. Yep. So in the dark chamber, there's a save point. A couple chests that we'll be getting. Um, but 
we are going to swap Donald out for Aladdin. Because to progress with what we want to do at this point, we need Aladdin. So let's see. Yep. If I swung, I would have got the chest. Stand by. There we go. Here's a chest. I think I can make it to this one, too. Yeah. Torn page. That's going to be useful for later. Um, don't think I can make it to that chest right now. Hold on one moment. OK. We want to go to the relic chamber, which is this one. And in the relic chamber, there's a chest right here. For a thunder ring. And there's a chest right there. Which we're going to jump over to. For your mithril. And you'll notice this weird statue that we can call a boo to. And he'll set that up for us. We're going to go in there, and I believe we're just going to get a chest out of it. Yeah, right here. Nice Meteor G. And then from here... We're going to swim up the waterfall. Because that's a thing we can do. We are salmon. And we're going to have Abu give us a nice tap there for another chest. For a Proterra chain, does Goofy already has a Proterra chain? I could give Aladdin a Proterra chain. Let's freaking do it, man. I don't care. Um, <laughs> we want to now swim up the waterfall near the save point. After we save. And that'll have us enter the silent chamber. From here, we want to go down this waterfall. We want to touch that. And we want to swim into the hidden room, which I believe is this one. That's a relic chamber, not where I wanted to go. Is hidden room? I think I can get to the hidden room from here. Yeah. And while we're here, we want to jump slash that pillar. Because that helps us. Which we'll see after this cutscene. My first wish, genie. Show me the keyhole. So the question now that I have is, did Genie just open, just like make that keyhole appear there? Or was it there behind that wall and Genie just revealed it? I'll go with the latter, but I'm not sure. Also, there's this big old door here that we can't really do anything with. Um, We now need to go back to the treasure room. So let's do that. I think we can get up there generally from this way. Yeah, here's the hall. The hall leads us to the bottomless hall. We got it. We make it work. I don't really want to fight these guys, so let's skip them. Also, if you look at the art, Aladdin's art is obviously much different than uh, Goofy and Sora's. Aladdin's art looks like it's from like promotional material from when the movie was released. And Goofy's and Sora's was made for this game. 
it's just interesting. Maybe it's just because it's drawn in a different style or something. But I don't know. Who knows? It doesn't exactly match in my eyes. Goodbye. Back in the treasure room. Now the save point's here. And there's one more thing we can have Abu, Abu do for us. Um, why was that helpful? I got up here on my own before. I want to get over here. Can you knock me over there? What about, oh, here we go. This is what I wanted, actually. Because you're going to knock me to the chest that I can't reach. There we go. Look at those lips. All right. That's in hand. Let's give it a save. And we're going to head into the lamp chamber. That boy again? He is more persistent than I expected. Why not explain the situation to that boy, Riku? Doing so may actually prove useful to our... Wait a second. Are you Maleficent? Bye. Far, How did Jack you just go. be able to piece that together immediately? You see, she's a princess. One of seven who somehow hold the key to opening the door. Open? But you fools won't live to see what lies beyond it. Genie, my second wish. Crush them! <gasps> Genie, no! Sorry, Al. The one with the lamp calls the shots. I don't have a choice. All right. So this is Jafar. We are fighting Jafar now. Um, he opens up with that laser move. And if you hug your, uh, if you hug the platform he's on, he usually can't really hit you with it. But otherwise, you're just kind of pounding on him. He's not too hard. Watch out for Genie. Because Genie also will attack you. Like he just attacked Aladdin there. <laughs> Genie's dialogue during this fight is great. Because it's all, he's just like, I really don't want to fight you. I'm sorry I'm attacking you. You know, like stuff like that. Most of his stuff is pretty, e or most of Jafar's stuff is pretty easily dodged. And if you keep away from Genie enough, you won't really have to worry about him. Just gotta fight. No, come on. More Blizzard. Come a little closer, buddy, so I can hit you. Oh, you're over there. I can hit you now, though. Though you're gonna hit me with your laser, probably. Oh, maybe not. It's just your fire staff. I'll take a hit from a laser, or not. I was gonna say, I'll take a hit from a laser, from a laser to do much, as much damage as I was doing, but, uh... Yeah, that quick, quick, get out of the way also. Like, I don't know, Genie's always a great character. And uh, his dialogue in this fight is amazing. You should be the one to stay back. I'm pretty much decimating you. Ouch. Oh, bye, Aladdin. You died. 
Working on it. Genie also seems to drop like MP orbs and other kind of orbs. There's the laser. Also, his animation there when he like swipes at you and he holds his uh, hand over his face. I don't know, Genie's cool. I like Genie. <laughs> Excuse me, could you run? Ouch, that hurt. You know, Jafar, you're pretty strong on your own. Why? Why not just, you know, not try to take over the worlds and just be a strong dude? It didn't really make any sense. Also, his over here is annoying. It's like he's taunting you like a child. Can you just, like, stand still for a couple minutes so I can pound on you? Goofy, hit him! Thank you, Goofy. You hit him once, but keep hitting him. Combo him. There we go. And that's Jafar. We get Blizzara, as opposed to just Blizzard now. Let's go check on Jasmine. Genie, my final wish. I want you to make me an all-powerful genie. Okay. That's... That's a wish. Ooh. We should, uh... Okay, she's passed out. We should probably deal with this first. But, uh, we're not going to, are we? Let's go ahead and use a camping set. And I guess we're going after Jafar. This is gonna hurt my legs when I land. So, this is Genie Jafar. You uh, can't hurt the actual Genie. What you need to do is hit Iago here and the lamp. It's really not that difficult. Just keep hitting Iago. When Iago's around, smash him. Try to dodge the actual Genie attacks. It's really not that, not that hard. Like, Judy Jafar can hit hard. Like, look at my health. That one meteor that hit me did a lot of damage. But I'm alright. I've still got a bunch of... and most. All right, I still have all my MP left. Um, so I can cure and whatnot. It's not bad. It's just as long as uh, you can hit Iago, hit him. <laughs> this uh, shifting ground will uh, get in the way a bit, but Aladdin and you kind of, Aladdin and Sora here have the right idea of just hitting Iago. Oh, we knocked Iago out. It's just the, it's really the lamp that we're hitting and not Iago. And that was it. We can still hit him. But that was it. That was the whole thing. And Goofy and Aladdin are still hitting it. Okay, Jafar. Back to your lamp. <laughs> and 
And we also get an upgraded fire with Fyra. And we get Anson's report number one. We should, uh, Jasmine. well, Jasmine's gone. Jasmine! We should uh, seal that keyhole now, like Sora's doing. taken care of. Jasmine's gone, though. Whoa, we better get out of here. Jasmine! And now we got to fly out of fly out of here. It's pretty simple. Ouch. I think we can break rocks that are falling or just take all the hits like me. I cannot cure, though. Regardless, it's pretty simple. Ouch. Ouch. Remember how I said it was pretty simple and now I'm dying? It really is pretty simple. I'm just bad. I think that was it. That was it. So Jasmine's gone. Aladdin wants to come with us, but we can't take him. I mean, we're already we're already meddling like this entire game is just meddling the game. Uh, Earth to Al. Hello, you still have one wish left. Look, just say the word. Ask me to find Jasmine for you. I I wish for your freedom, Genie. Al! <laughs> He's really screaming through his teeth there. And now Genie's free. A deal's a deal, Genie. Now you can go anywhere you want. You're your own master. But if you can, it'd be great if you could go along with them and help Sora find Jasmine. You know... Sorry, Al. I'm done taking orders from others. Taking Genie along with us? Wouldn't that be worse than taking Aladdin uh, along with us? A favor? Now that's entirely different. I guess I could give that a try. After all, we're pals, right, Al? You know, Genie, you still are like a magic genie. You could me. still just like magic Jasmine back or something, right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's against genie code. <sighs> and a smarmy vizier could have had him. If someone had stuck around to give him a hand. Hey, I did my part. I brought the princess, didn't I? Jafar was beyond help, consumed by his own hatred. One should be aware of letting it burn too fiercely. Whoa, 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 lighten up. Uh, I'm as cool as they come, okay? By the way, kid, have we got something special for you? Huh? We had a deal, yes. 
You help us, and we grant you your wish. Kyrie. So they have Kyrie. Kyrie, go to her. Your vessel is waiting. Just remember, this is no pleasure cruise. It won't be a pleasant voyage. Why are you doing all this for me? What's the catch? Cat, what's the catch? Silly boy. You're like a son to me. I've known you for maybe weeks. To be happy. I seriously doubt that. Believe what you wish. But lest we forget, I kept my end of the bargain. So that was that. We now have a summon for Genie. And three wishes. I mean, the, the Keyblade three wishes. And green trinities. Which is cool. So real fast, let's see what uh, three wishes looks like. Extra strength. Difficult to deflect. It is. It does seem significantly shorter than uh, Jungle King. But we're going to be using three wishes now. There we go. New Keyblade. We also learned your Green Trinity. So, real fast, let's go uh, do that, because there's one in the storage room here. Right here. Ooh. And we get AP up, which, of course, of course. Oh, first off, I'm gonna give Sora a new thing. Oh. High potion, I guess. Um, that EP up, going right to Sora. And then let's look at my abilities, because uh, I feel like I've got some stuff. Scan! Now I can see HP. And we'll do Lucky Strike, because why not? Donald can learn MP Rage. Goofy can learn... Lucky Strike. Tornado next. And that's that. Um, so we're going to be calling it apart here, after I break these pots, because I feel like it. Um, next time, I guess I should hop over to uh, hop over to the gummy ship and see what we, what we can do next. We can revisit places and unseals more trinities. There's a trinity mark in the accessory shop we should probably check out. There's a torn page from Merlin's book that we'll probably check out. But there's also a battle level five world and a battle level six world. So next time, I think we're going to do a little bit of cleanup uh, in the places over here where we got some trinities, um, especially Traverse Town. But after the cleanup, we'll be headed to this battle level five world. And I think I know what it is. It's not my favorite. But that's all right. Regardless, that's it this time. Thank you all so very much for watching. Hope you guys have a great night or day or whatever time it is when you're watching this. Oh, you know what? I lied. Next time, at the date that's currently on the screen, on the screen, we're going to be coming back to Olympus Coliseum to do the first, uh, the first uh, tournament cup. I believe it's the Phil Cup. Uh, there's three different sections to it. We're going to do it all live. It'll be re-uploaded after the fact, but the time and date on the screen are what we'll be doing or when we'll be doing it. Um, but yeah, other than that, now I'm ready. Now I'm done. After we do that is when we'll go back and do the cleanup. But for now, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm going to jump back to Agrabah because that's where I'm saving and I'm going to stay. 
Um, but thank you very, very, very much for watching. Have a great night or day or whatever time it is. And I'll see you next time.